Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in to the Overtax Taxpayer Channel. Hey listen, I still think that this coronavirus is overblown. I think it's being used um, to scare the public, to, to sabotage uh, Trump's economy. Uh, and I think, that's the key word, I think, we're going to start to see a lot of celebrities and high-profile people come out and claim they have it to spread, to propagate, to to infuriate the fear, um, to push the panic, to push the reality. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't be prepared. Never said that because I'm not a doctor. But I can tell you that out of everybody I know, nobody has the coronavirus. Now, a lot of people are confused because it is flu season. And I think that's part of the camouflage, so to speak. It's being used. Uh, this is hyped up during flu season to freak people out. Again, I'm not saying do not be prepared. But keep your eyes open for high profile people claiming they got the virus claiming they tested positive, and then ascertain how many of them happen to be liberals versus Republicans. And I think that will tell the truth. I want to talk about preparing now because I really do believe you should be prepared. Not because that I believe that this is a full-blown pandemic, because I don't, but just in case, you should still be prepared. It's not so much as what this virus is or isn't. It is the perception of other people. Now, if you have no food or supplies in your house and the perception to the other people are that this is something to behold, something to be afraid of. Let me turn up the light. Uh, something that you should be afraid of, then, then chances are you don't want to be shopping or gathering uh, supplies while these imbeciles are shopping, uh, while they're in panic mode, in frightful mode, while they're, you, you, you can imagine the, the, the fighting that can go on. I mean, they'll fight over a toy, you know, during Christmas season. Can you imagine what some of these clowns, will, how they will behave uh, if they feel that there is a pandemic and they're, they're two minutes from death? Um, so get out and my advice is get some food, get some food storage, get some cleaning storage. Uh, what I mean by storage items that can last you a month or two, get enough sanitation, uh, stuff to, to clean yourself with stuff to, uh, to clean your home, uh, bleach enough to last, uh, two months uh, for the females out there. You, you you know what you need, and I would definitely stock up on uh, those uh, those items as well. Men, the same thing. Uh, food, definitely get food, water. Um, I'm not like I said. Better to be prepared, and nothing goes wrong. Um, I would say get about a month or two's worth of food, canned goods. Uh, um, stock up the freezer with meats and chickens and, uh, chicken goods. That is, um, you know, canned tunas and whatnot. Uh, and if you can't afford meat, heck go to Costco and get one of their big five pound or two of their uh, five pound bags of protein powder. Hey, protein is protein, right? Um, my advice is to shop during the later portions of the evening, uh, early mornings before the, uh, the nut jobs wake up um, and, and flood the stores. Uh, definitely uh, keep gas in your vehicle. You know, don't let it get down uh, below three quarters of a tank. Uh, keep that thing full at all times. Um, you know, we're all individual variables. You know what you need and it could be different from everybody else's needs. Whatever you need, whether it's medication or whatnot, Stock up, get it in the home. Again, I'm not trying to push fear. I believe this is overblown. I think they're trying to sabotage Trump. 
uh, uh, what an easy way to do this, you know, uh, claim, um, claim a pandemic and start locking down um, cities and whatnot and, and uh, paralyzing um, the economy. And then they can just turn it on Trump and, oh, he didn't, he didn't uh, react to this properly. He, and I, I, it is amazing how this is coming in turn in time with the, uh, with the election. Um, so I just wanted to pass that, that message. Don't, don't panic. Treat it as though it's a possibility. But get out and get some supplies. <coughs> I do that video and I do this video and here I do uh, uh, here I cough but I don't have the coronavirus but definitely get out and get some supplies regardless of what possibly can happen again I, I, I'm going to repeat myself uh, but it's not so much what can happen with this virus it's the perception of the people around you that can cause fear and harm to you and your family uh, you don't want to wait until you absolutely need it and then you have to go out to a a supermarket with a bunch of crazy um people who are also in panic mode anyway i gotta run stay positive stay stay calm and uh play it smart take care